You won't want to miss this next level seafood gumbo. Get ready. It's going to be delicious. Okay, so our seafood gumbo, we start out with two pounds of peeled and deveined shrimp that has been cleaned totally and they're kind of dry. We're going to sit these out for a second and then put them back in the fridge. Um, we've got our red snapper. It's a warm water fish we have here. And so this is part of the seafood theme. Uh, we have uh, some andouille sausage for gumbo. You really want to use some type of sausage to season and everything for your gumbo. So we've got this for the meatiness as well. And then we've got our broth here, our beer, one bottle, and our Worcestershire sauce. We've got some dry shrimp here that we use in our gumbo. And then we have four Alaskan king crab. And so it makes the gumbo, every gumbo, gives it kind of an earthy feel. Um, it's fantastic with flavor. You gotta have the, the trinity here. So we got our onion, our bell pepper, and celery, some parsley, some fresh herbs. Uh, we've got some uh, oregano, and we've got some thyme there. Here's our garlic, minced garlic. And for our roux, we're gonna use uh, just about a cup of uh, flour, all-purpose flour. We've got some green onions here, and of course, okra. So you wanna get the okra. And down here below, we've got some seasonings for our Alaskan king crab. Uh, we've got some gumbo filet. So we use at the end to thicken it up if you need it and get that kind of taste, the sassafras taste. And we've got some bay leaves down here, some fresh bay leaves. You can use it any kind you want, but for this, we're gonna use this a special recipe. So we're gonna use the bay leaves fresh. And then for our spices, you can see here, we start off with the Tony Ketcheries. We've got some garlic powder, some paprika, some pepper, some Paul Prumone seafood seasoning, and some um, onion powder, some cayenne pepper. And we're gonna use some of this salt, not all of it, but we, we've got some salt on the table here. And so that's uh, basically it. And for our roux, we're gonna use a combination of oil and butter for this one. This is like a feast on your table, all for one pot, a pot of gumbo. This is the ultimate next level gumbo. So make sure that you watch this. So let's get started. We've got a saucepan, medium sized saucepan that we're gonna dump some seafood broth in. You can use chicken broth as well, but we're using 32 ounce jars of seafood broth in the pot. Then next we're gonna go ahead and season the pot with clean shells from the shrimp. And what we're trying to do is build the body to this uh, beautiful dish. And so we're adding in some dried shrimp now. And we're gonna let this sit on a stove on medium heat until it boils. And let it boil for about 15 minutes. And then we took off the shrimp out. All the shells, discarded all the shells from the shrimp. Uh, you can see some of the little shrimp will come up as well. Some of the dried shrimp, they'll come up as well, but it's flavored now. So we're going to go ahead and take the, uh, the shells out now. And the next thing we're going to add to the broth before we set it aside and start making the gumbo is we're going to be using some king crab Alaskan legs here, and we're going to drop them in right now. I told you this was next level, so get ready. So after about 15 minutes, 
we went ahead after they started boiling, we pulled them out and took out some of the meat out of it so we can put it into the gumbo. And then we're gonna put some legs directly in the gumbo as well. But we're gonna go ahead and set this all aside and go on to the next phase of making this gumbo, which is go ahead and getting the sausages for seasoning. Uh, I know this is a seafood gumbo, but we added some meatiness to it and some seasoning to have a kick with the andouille sausage, which is very traditional. So we dropped down some butter and then we added our sausages. And keep in mind what we did here, we have andouille sausage, which is very traditional, but we use two types of sausages. And also as we go further, we use two types of shrimp as well, two different sizes. So um, just to give you a different profile here when you're eating this uh, seafood gumbo. So we fried up about a pound of okra and we cut it up. You can use the frozen okra or fresh, either way. And uh, we cooked it and fried it off in the oil that the sausage was in just to go ahead and get rid of some of that sliminess that people don't like in their gumbo with okra. So uh, we thought this was a good little trick and it worked out really well. So. So after the sausage was out in the same pot that we cooked it in, we started our roux. And what we used was butter and Crisco together, half and half, uh, about a cup total. And then we got it down into the pot. We melted the butter and Crisco and we're just starting the roux right now. And so we just tested it to make sure that it wasn't going to be too hot. We got it in there it's, and we're starting to just layer it and start to the process of making the roux. This is the most important part in the gumbo. Make sure that you pay close attention. Never walk away from the roux and take your time. Don't cook it too fast. You'll have to start all over again. So... It doesn't look like anything just yet, but please believe this is really going to come together, this whole process from here on out. And you'll see as we go forward, we'll show you the money shot and everything, but this is how you make the roux. We have a, another gumbo video up and it's done very well for us, but we just thought we wanted to do a seafood gumbo so you can see everything. And... This is how it goes. You get you a wooden spoon. Your pot must be a heavier, like iron pot, big Dutch oven sort of thing. 
and you just go ahead and start making the roux. We've got different camera angles today. So we got a side and an overview. Make sure if you like this video to give us a thumbs up and please leave comments behind. That always helps us and for us to give you great videos in the future. Make sure you, you give us a good comment, a thumbs up, and uh, subscribe if you haven't because we've got some great videos down the line as well. Now with this root, you're gonna see that it's gonna change colors. You wanna kinda get that dark, kind of chocolatey color. You know, it goes from a caramel to a milk chocolate to a dark chocolate color. And that's what you wanna achieve with this, with the rich flavor. And so we're just continuing to stir. And this could take some time. Uh, it can take 40, 50 minutes maybe to do. It just depends on how you're doing it. And just make sure that, you know, you're just kind of going right back and forth. You can go into a maybe an S shape or something if you get bored. Once you get the color that you want, you can start dumping in your, your Trinity, which is just the, the bell pepper, the celery, the onion. That's all in there right now. We're gonna add some garlic in. And that was just one bottle of amber ale, about a 12 ounce bottle of amber ale that we have in there. And now we're gonna add the broth. And we're gonna add the broth in stages. Time for the seasonings and don't forget in all our recipes we put the ingredients in the description box below so when you're leaving the comment and giving us a thumbs up make sure that you get the uh, recipe as well and tell us how you you like it and when you're gonna make it
So now we add the sausage for seasoning. And now our flavor profile is bountiful. We have the herbs, the thyme, the fresh oregano. We're going to dump off the okra. And we'll bring it to a boil. And let that cook down for about 15 minutes. Once the 15 minutes is up, make sure you add your spring onions and your parsley. And with fresh herbs, you can you can add as many as you want, as long as it's not too much. But it's not like the dried, so it's just giving it a lot of flavor. So let's add our red snapper. Our red snapper, we cut it up in chunks. And then our golf shrimp. So we got those in now. We're gonna go ahead and cover this up. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna have that money shot for you uh, when we start putting the lump crab in there. But again, thanks for uh, watching our video today. Share this video with your friends, your neighbors. Let's see if we can get this one to do better than the last one that we did even. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. It was delicious.